Hey guys, on today's episode of Ham Radio for Non-Techies, I got a nice package in the mail from BioNO Power. We're going to unbox it, check it out, and talk about it. So stay tuned. So as I said, guys, uh, I got a package in the mail from something I ordered from BioNO Power, and something that I've talked about before on my previous shows. Uh... I wanted to, you know, present it to you guys, let you check it out and see what you, see what I got, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, if this is your first time here, Ham Radio for Non Techies is designed basically for people who are interested in the hobby but don't really know where to get the information. So I'm trying to bring as much information to here into one channel as possible and research the things that might not get answered on other channels or anywhere else on the web. Uh, if this is your first time here, please consider liking this video and also please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell to be notified when I have new videos out. So with that, guys, let's go downstairs. Let's go in and let's do the unboxing. So welcome again to another unboxing video, guys. Um, I ordered this up about a month ago. It finally came in. And before we get that started, uh, I wanted to say a big congratulations to all the guys that uh, participated in the YouTube Ham Fest over the weekend. Looks like it was fantastic. Unfortunately, I was out of town. I had to go and uh, take care of some family business out, of, out in West Texas. But... Uh, yeah, I got that all handled. Everything's golden. I'm back in the back in the saddle again and ready to get, bring you guys some great videos. So anyway, I ordered some stuff for BioNO, and the unfortunate side of it is I got this part of it, but I still don't have the radio it's going to be paired with because it's still on back order. Technically, it's supposed to be around the middle of this or towards the middle or end of this month. Uh, they should be shipping out my radio. So I want to show you guys these items first and tackle a couple of problems that I've heard other people talk about but nobody's ever addressed so with that being said let's get these opened up and find out what i got all right now this should be my solar panel i think about the only thing it could yep that looks like a solar panel there we go one huge, and I'm going to move this off the table because I know how I know how big this theoretically is supposed to be. So let's see how big it actually is. Let's unpress those. So we have a 100 watt solar panel array, and that's going to be my power source for the other parts in here and to keep the radio going when I'm doing uh, parts on the air activations. So that is the first part. That looks really good. And I'll tell you what, this looks really sturdy. I'm really happy with it. I mean, the size is massive. It's a massive, massive set of panels. But uh, I'm really happy with that. It looks like it comes with... Okay, yeah. So it has little stands that are Velcroed in. So you can stand this thing up in the sun and have it pointed at a certain angle, whatever, and keep these things up off the grass and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else they've got in here. I'll flip that over. I saw, I saw a little accessory bag. So we'll get that opened up. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. We have a cable and another cable. I guess that's the actual charge cable. So this will plug into that. And that'll hopefully go into our charge controller. So we'll get that taken apart. Wow, those are good sturdy connections. And that's really cool. It's about 20 feet long. I think it says about 20 feet of wire in this. That's really nice. Okay, so moving along. We'll get our second box open. i become really, really good at opening boxes lately. Amazon hates me. All right, so in here, we got our solar charge controller. If I'm right, that should be a power pack. Yeah, it looks like a power pack. And when I ordered this, I actually ordered the 12 amp hour battery and I guess they had a, they had a problem with them at the time, or they weren't they were still in production. Wanted to get this out to me as quickly as possible, 
So Kevin over at BioNO actually upgraded me to a 15 amp hour battery. So hats off to you, Kevin. That's pretty awesome. I do highly appreciate that. Did not expect it, but I highly appreciate it. So this should be the 15 amp hour uh, battery here. Let's get that open. All right. Yep. And I'm actually very surprised at how small. They say this thing weighs about maybe three or four pounds. Uh, I think that's about right. Feels about right. I could go away if we actually gave a crap, but I don't. Because um, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be humping this thing up up in a backpack up on top of a mountaintop or anything like that. It's just mainly just drive out the parks, which you know I'll let the truck do all the work and carry all this stuff. But that's really nice. So I've got a charge port for either the uh, charge controller or to plug into the wall, which is what I'm assuming this is, and this will go into the radio that I don't have yet. All right, let's get rid of that box. Get this opened up, yep, exactly what I thought it was. AC wall adapter or AC charger, which I assume that probably goes in like that, like that. And that goes in like that. So you can actually charge the battery at home when you're not out, out in the field or away from when you have power available to you. You can actually just plug it into a wall with this adapter and uh, keep your batteries charged. So that's a really nice feature to have. Again, I think BioNO, and I've talked about their stuff, I've talked about their products before, and I wanted to put my money where my mouth is. So that's why we're doing this review here now because I wanted you guys to know that, hey, I, I might talk to you about these items and say, hey, these are great items, but I also purchase the same stuff that I tell you guys about. So let's keep that rolling. This should be our charge controller. Another cable. Yeah, there we go. One simple charge controller. So the issue that I think I had read about was that nobody talks about how to connect these things. So if you bring the camera in a little closer here, I want to kind of show what I'm talking about. So I've got this cable, Anderson power pole, Anderson power pole. Same with the longer cable, Anderson power pole, Anderson power pole. This will plug into here and that will go into the back of the charge controller this way. But how do I plug this into this? That's the problem. This, this isn't gonna, these don't plug in there, all right? So I was trying to figure out, should I really cut this and uh, deal with cutting a nice cable like this that has the, the power poles on it, or should I come up with some other new idea? So the idea that I came up with, and again, like I said, I looked all over YouTube trying to find anybody who show how to set these things up. I hate assumption, and the main purpose of my channel is if you can't find it anywhere else, hopefully I've run into this problem and found a solution for you. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, there is no way to hook up these things into this without cutting these wires. I don't want to cut these wires. I think they're really, really nice wires. So what I've done instead is I've created an adapter wire that we'll use in here to connect everything. So with that, give me one second, I'll be right back. So I want to show you guys what my solution was and how I tackled this issue. So over here, I did pick up some wire and a couple of little tools to help me accomplish this. Now this might be overkill for some people, but I'm already kind of run down the rabbit hole of building antennas, getting into wiring and soldering and all that kind of stuff. And Anderson power poles, as far as I'm concerned, are the most efficient way to connect power. They really are strong connections. They're great. They seem to be fairly easy to build. And that's exactly what I did here. I took some 14 gauge wire, because that's the same gauge that is used on these. And I connected them up to some power poles, got them snapped in and uh, made myself a little accessory wire. So the way I did that, uh, PowerWorks sells 
this little kit, which has all of your stuff to make, uh, I think it's 10 amp, 50, or 10 amp, 15 amp, and 30 amp, or 15, 30, and 45 amp, whatever it is, you can, it, it allows you to make your own, uh, your own uh, Anderson power poles to adapt to anything that you want to use in your uh, ham radio fund. So I got those set up, and I used a couple of these little jobbers right here, and crimped them with this tool. This is a ratcheting, turn around this way, it's a ratcheting crimper made specifically for Anderson power pole connectors. So if I drop the connection there, you can see that it opens right up. Once you put your connector inside of here, you bring it down, and then when you hear it, when you hear it click, you'll see right here a little thing jumps up. That's when you've gone far enough, and you've got the perfect crimp with the right amount of pressure to build your Anderson power poles. I will, um, guys, I will have the links to all of this down below in the video. If you're interested in getting these, I think these were about 25, 35 bucks for the uh, crimpers, and the little kit here. Uh, for all these power to make as many of these little power pole adapters as you want. I think there's another probably 30 or 40 bucks. And they ship this out to me like pronto. It was like two, two, three days to ship this out. So really, really efficient over there at PowerWorks. So, like I said, I went ahead and made this to go into the radio. So now let's go down here. And we're going to go into the we're going to delve into the how do we build all this stuff. So we will start with. If you look on the charge controller, you have a positive and negative post. There's six of them. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. This one's for your solar panels. This one's for your battery, and this one's for a light. However, they do say in the limited instructions you get, they don't really suggest you hook up something directly to us like your radio. So that's why I think they have both of these connections, one for your radio and one for the actual uh, thing here. So I'm going to disconnect this from the battery, and I'm going to turn this around. Sorry, you won't be able to see everything for just a second. We're going to get these in here, like so. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. And they say don't go cranking down on these things. You can break this controller if you start using, you know, uh, start using hardcore force on it. So if it, as long as it gets in there and it's not coming apart, not coming out, you're good. So now we'll take this little adapter that I made and just have to figure out which one was positive, which one was negative. It's the only downside of doing this with two black wires is trying to figure out what goes where. So there we go. That's black or red all the way down. So there's our positive, there's our negative. All right, and these I'm going to do, I think, one at a time, just to keep down the confusion and the stress. There we go. Get that one in there. Nice and secure. Okay. So with that being done, we could now effectively... Say I had the solar panels out in the field. I'm just use the shorter cables, they're both the same. I would now connect these together, connect these together, and now my solar panels are connected to my charge controller. Then from here, we would connect these two for the battery. You'll notice we're running 13.6 volts. So that is now connected. The last missing piece is unfortunately the radio. Um, I don't know what kind of connectors. I just bought the Yaesu FT891. And I've been I told you guys about that as one of my top five uh, mobile radios. I think I, I even discussed it in the uh, uh, the bug out episode we did. We we're talking about going off grid with your radio. So that's the one I purchased, and unfortunately, like I said before, it is uh, out of stock at the moment, so I'm kind of SOL until that comes in. But that, hopefully, I think that comes with Anderson power pole connectors on the actual uh, radio itself. If that's the case, then great, this will snap right in. Otherwise, I'm back to going down to the store, probably picking up some actual wire 
some red and black so I can have a little easier time connecting everything and just make another set of Anderson power poles to have it all ready to roll and uh, be connected to the radio. But that's what I wanted to show you. You know, there are options. They do not tell you in the instructions about anything about how this all works. And I really felt bad about cutting a perfectly good Anderson power pole uh, connector like this. Man, that's beautiful the way they did it. It's all shrink wrapped and everything kind of is beautiful. I don't want to just snip that off and throw that in the garbage or have this just extra wire uh, lying around. So I figured why not just build my own and have an extra adapter. If something happens to this, I don't really care. I can make another one. So I think this was a good solution. This gets me going. All I need now is a radio, slap an antenna on it, maybe get out, maybe go get a tent at a little table or something. Go out to the park and start, uh, start doing my POTA activations. So anyway, guys, again, all of the links to all these items that I purchased will be down below. Um, if you're interested in doing off-grid comms or if you're just interested in doing, you know, POTA activation or SOTA activations, anything like that, or if you just got more money than, than sense and want to just go out and buy a whole bunch of cool stuff to have your uh, radio not to plug into the wall, you know, this might be a great option. Either way, I think it's a fantastic value. The amount for this, I think I paid around, oh, don't quote me, I think around $440 for the solar panel, battery, and the solar uh, charge controller. Not a bad price for what you're getting and for the quality that BioNO is putting out. These guys, I mean, I, when I had, a, I had one little problem uh, with my order, and they jumped on it within like 15 minutes and boom, it was resolved. Um, so they're really good on customer service over there. I highly recommend them. My experience with them has been nothing but fantastic. Kevin over at BioNO Power, thank you very much. I appreciate the quality of your stuff. I appreciate the quickness in which you got it to me. And uh, I can't wait to get out there and start using it and maybe do some more videos on this stuff. But uh, until then guys, you know, uh, I'll let you know, I'll, I'll be doing a video on uh, when my 891 finally comes in. And hopefully, we're, we're, it'll be June 1st, 2021 tomorrow. And I'm just time stamping this video now for future people. Uh, so hopefully by June 18th, they'll have them in stock. They'll be shipped one my way. We'll get out there and nail it. Um, just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That will help the YouTube algorithm show my video to more people that are interested in ham radio or looking for topics that I, that I cover in, on my channel. Also, if you thought this was a decent video, I'd ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so you can be notified whenever I do new videos. For right now, my name is Scott. My call sign is KI5MPL. This is Ham Radio for Non-Techies, and we're clear.